Welcome back to another episode. My name is Form, and this is Formcast, episode 55, I think. Anyways, what I do know in terms of numbers is today, Monday, January 22nd, today is my day 100th in a row, live streaming. I haven't gone live yet as of this recording. I will be shortly after. But I have gone live for a minimum of one hour. Now that only happened once on Christmas Eve, but the most majority of them were anywhere between three hours to 26 hours. Yes, you heard that right, 26 hours for one stream. And today marks day 100 in a row. Now, this was not a challenge. This was not because uh, the community hit certain goals and this is not a subathon like most would do. This is just me streaming and doing what I like every single day because I chose to. Do I need a day off? Yeah. It's coming soon. I promise. With that being said, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today is how I have a 100th day today and how now I've shared this opinion about uncapped subathons very, very often, but I just can't wrap my head around them and this does not go against the people who choose to do uncapped subathons, but this is just my opinion, and it's been my opinion forever. The idea of streaming every single day is pretty wild. I've done it. I know what it feels like for over three months, over three months straight. Technically, three months and about 10 days. But some people will do uncapped subathons where subs increase the timer that they have to continue to go live. Um, they do this day after day after day after day, but eventually they, I think they realize that they still have to like go outside and do things right. And instead of stopping it or anything like that, because the money's coming in, I see people putting reruns of VODs for a whole day saying, Hey, I'm taking a day off. Watch this stream from like three days ago, but Hey, make sure you keep that timer going with subs and donations and all that stuff. It's absolutely wild to me that people will support these pieces because these people are still sleeping eight hours a day. Now, some people sleep on stream, which is perfectly fine. I think, um, if you want people to watch you sleep, um, I personally don't think I would want that. Um, but regardless, some people like sleep like three, four hours or whatever, they're back on it and they just go, 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 go. And they're not taking these wild breaks. Um, I just don't understand it. And, and coming from someone who has done a hundred days straight. Um, now, yes, I don't stream from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. every single day. I don't need to. Um, technically, neither are they. Um, I just hate seeing a timer go down while people are sleeping, getting their eight, nine hours of sleep while people are in their chat, like trying to keep things going. But that's a, just a quick opinion about that. More importantly, I did a 26 hour stream not long ago, just a few days ago. Friday, last Friday till a Saturday evening. It started out as a 24 hour stream. One of the incentives allowed us to add two hours to the stream, 26 whole hours. Now the day before I was actually out of town for an NHL game. I went to bed late that night. I got up early. I traveled back home for four hours straight driving back home. I went to the gym, did a few things, and then I did my stream. Now, was that smart? No. Should I have gone to bed before or napped at least for a couple hours? Yes, hundred percent, but I didn't. So needless to say, a few days later, I'm still quite tired from that stream and the, you know, mix up in my routine. However, it went splendidly well, I guess you could say. Um, I, I, I don't think that 24 hour streams, uh, um, are wildly obnoxious to do. Um, now I don't take naps. I don't sleep on stream. I don't take major breaks. I don't go out to, for dinner. I don't go to the gym during this time. Um, I sit here and the only breaks I took were, I think the longest break was maybe three minutes. Uh, I went to the bathroom, went downstairs to grab a snack, came right back up. So pretty much the entire time I'm live and we're speaking, we're talking when we're, we're chatting it up, we're playing games, played a, a, a variety of, uh, and I say variety, but we went from Call of Duty ranked because it had just dropped the day before. So Call of Duty ranked to Valorant competitive games. Back to COD, back to Val, back to COD, back to Val, back to COD. And then we just chatted for a little bit of the uh, end part. Um, 
the the craziness is the, the the benefits of doing this is one you get to challenge yourself mentally and physically i think that's probably the main reason i do it because i like to challenge myself and see how long we can go for and uh 26 is the longest i've ever done i've done a, a handful of 24 hour streams before now i've done 24 hours and a little bit um but i've never gone over the 24 25 hour mark so this 26 and a tiny bit hour stream was my longest and probably will stay my longest for quite some time. Although, could we do 30? I'm not sure. I'm not going to even entertain that thought right now. It makes me want to go to bed. That being said, one of the major benefits, I think, um, is the amount of people that you could meet. Uh, there was tons of raids, tons of new, uh, I want to say faces, but usernames, I guess you can say. Um, because you're streaming at complete different times. You're hitting so many different time zones. People who want to support you in terms of this being a challenge, a marathon challenge to be like, hey, this guy is not going to sleep. He's not stopping stream. He's playing games for 24, 26 hours straight. Um, hey, why don't you go check him out? Go go raid him if you want, blah, blah, blah. So people that are willing to share the, the news and, and share the word of this marathon stream um, really bring in new people as well. So Tons of follows, tons of new faces, new names, um, and tons of new friends made, which I think is probably the biggest benefit to the entire thing. Um, we had some incentives, some bit incentives, some some sub incentives, all these kinds of things. Uh, but at the uh, end of the day, I think the best thing is the fact that uh, when you can have an entire 24 hour stream and hold, I think we held for the majority anyways, um, I want to say like 70, 70 plus for the majority of things. I don't even know what my stream average was because Twitch actually sent me about an hour before I finished, sent me a stream summary. So I don't know if like after 24 hours, they like send you a summary, but it seems to have cut my, 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 my summary, my total summary in chunks at the end, which kind of made it confusing to see what the actual average was for the whole thing, but around 70, 75 or something like that. Um, which is pretty uh, freaking gnarly in my opinion. Now, there's some downsides. I mean, uh, streaming for 24 hours plus is is straight, uh, is extremely unhealthy. Um, I have a standing desk, thank God. So I was able to stand up for a bit, chat up for like, you know, 15, to, you know, 20 minutes, um, then go back to games, all that kind of stuff. But I've this is my first one that I've done where I live. I always used to stream uh, at an office space outside of my home which meant I didn't, you know, really have access to, to a fridge and to, you know, I'd say proper bathrooms, public bathrooms were never that fun to use, but this is the first time that I do one where I live. It felt a lot better and my first one with a standing desk. So it felt way better physically to get up, shake the legs out, walk around, but still be on stream and still chat and still be active and interactive. Um, otherwise you'd have to kind of like not be doing that because when you stand up at a sit down desk, I mean, Everyone's staring at your crotch and doesn't really make for great conversation for most times. So 26 hours, it was very, very fun. But major downside is you are absolutely burnt the next day or two. Um, yesterday, Sunday. So I finished Saturday at around 8 p.m. Eastern. I stayed up for like an hour or so, like something like that. Went to bed not long after. Slept a regular uh, night of like eight, nine hours. Woke up at nine-ish the next day on Sunday morning, trying to keep that sleep schedule, you know, similar, but you skip the whole night. So <laughs> Sunday yesterday, absolutely exhausted. I'm pretty sure I was speaking very like so slowly that I don't know, whoever I spoke to, and I even streamed last night, um, they probably, just, you know, just trying to like hurry me up in my sentences because I was kind of just, yeah, streaming and talking like this and uh, it's very, very tired. And, you know, just kind of like when you're absolutely exhausted, everything slows down. No will to move, but we got it done. Today, a bit of a different day where you we went to the gym this morning. We feel good. We're all right. But listen, if you're going to try and do a marathon stream, be wary of what potentials could happen. I see a lot of smaller streamers and I'm a small streamer, but I see a lot of smaller streamers who might average, you know, anywhere between five to 10 viewers, try and do marathon streams and struggle in the overnight because a lot of people go to bed. I am very lucky. There are a lot of cracked out people in the community that I have that love staying up late, playing their games, hanging out in streams, chatting it up. So I was very lucky. We had a lot of people chatting it up at 
three, four, five in the morning to carry through the night. We actually had a golden cap of hype train at three thirty in the morning. I don't how I don't even know how that happened, but it happened. That being said, the positives I think outweigh the negatives, and you could always catch up on sleep at some point. I think. I don't know. I think I'm too tired to tell. Anyways. Now, one last thing, and this is a little bit of a more serious thing, so I left it for the end of the episode here. Last week, I talked about going to Italy, and if you missed that episode, please go listen to it. A wild event happened uh, on stream, and uh, I'm going to Italy at some point with my dad. Now, today, actually just about half hour before recording this, uh, my mom stopped by, and uh, she shared the news that my dad's uh, my, so my dad had a heart attack in his early 50s. Uh, he's got a stent uh, stent put in, and then he got a defibrillator put in his chest uh, to regulate his heart rate. Now, I don't know much about it, but recent you know scans and recent tests have indicated that his aorta um, has enlarged, and that's not a good thing. You don't have to be a doctor to know that that's not a good thing. I, I, don't, I don't believe. So that being said, uh, he does have to get a go uh, go get some scans done. Um, and the likelihood of surgery is quite high. Uh, obviously, this is concerning to my entire family. Uh, his health has always been a concern ever since his uh, heart attack and stroke that he had at the, you know, as of, uh, uh, I guess, result of his heart attack. Um, so it's concerning. Now, what does this mean for Italy? I'm not sure. Um, we are going to be probably putting planning on hold for a little bit. We were planning to go actually after speaking to him yesterday uh, in June uh, in, rather than August. So a little bit earlier than expected, but we haven't planned anything. And this kind of puts a little bit of a hiccup in our plans to see if he needs surgery for sure. And if he does, when that'll be and what the recovery process is. And if he's able to, you know, fly for eight hours, eight and a half hours to Italy and actually go on the trip. So if you guys are, are, are listening to this, please uh, keep uh, him and my family in your thoughts. Um, and we'll try and stay positive about it. Again, all I can say is thank you for listening. Thank you for downloading the podcast. It really, really means a lot. Every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern, roughly 8 to 9 a.m. Eastern Wednesdays is when new episodes drop every single week. Sometimes the topics are boring. Sometimes they're fun and entertaining. Sometimes I just need to vent about things. Either way. I'm happy. We'll catch you next time, guys. Cheers.